Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 22 career mode here today on the channel. We're going to be starting a brand new career mode as Atletico Madrid. We're back on FIFA's realism mod, of course, with a new updated version. We've got a bunch of new manager attire and backgrounds and updates. Ultimate difficulty, of course, four minute halves, euros as our currency. We are ready to shine. It's a new day and a new season in Spain. I've taken the Atleti job and I've come dressed as an astronaut as I want to try and take this club to the fucking moon. So the main objective of this career series is to try and win the Champions League with Atleti. They've had multiple failed finals over the last couple of years. However, they have had decent success in the Europa League, winning in 2010, 12 and 18. So I've been given the job. The main objective of this series is to try and win the Champions League in as few seasons as possible. We've won La Liga a fair few times over the years, so that's not a major priority. 70 million pounds in the bank. This is the team. So, look, this Atleti squad is so, so strong. I don't think we need to bring in too many players. Okay, so I've decided to change up the formation. I'm not overly too big of a fan of a three at the back. So we're going to go with a 4-4-2. With Suarez, Griezmann leading the line. I want to try and make Griezmann a permanent deal. Yannick Carrasco on the left. Thomas Lamar on the right. Koke and Llorente as the two midfield pivot. I think we'll go with Lodi at left back. We've got a really nice defensive duo in Jose Jimenez and Savage. And then we've got... Oblak in goal, of course. Our bench is so, so strong. DePaul, Herrera, Felipe, Hermoso, and of course, João Felix and Carrera. Hope we can see a lot of them this season. We'll be rotating the side. So Oblak is our highest rated player at a whopping 91. Our goalkeeping situation is on point. Luis Suarez, 34 years of age, is such a crazy and clutch finisher in FIFA. So we've got to try and keep him around. So Griezmann has come back. He's technically on loan. Um, I don't want to risk in potentially January uh, of this career mode. Let's play Griezmann. Um being recalled so we're going to have to permanently buy him i'm actually going to recall morata as well look if he picks up six five ten goals this season i think it'll be worth it i also want to increase my squad depth in the midfield as well so we're going to bring back saul from chelsea and i might even bring back santiago arias as well We've also got Kuna, so we don't even really need to sign too many players, as we've got a lot of new fresh faces signed under Diego Simeone. One player that's currently at Atleti but isn't in our squad at the moment is Daniel Weiss, 32-year-old Danish man. Currently plays for Gary Neville's former side, Valencia, so we can uh, hopefully try and bring him in. Obviously a little bit injury prone, which is unfortunate for poor Danny boy but I feel like we could uh, use him at the club regardless because they signed him in real life. He can play central midfield. He can play right back. A Valencian Stowalt. I always associate Vice with, um, with Valencia. Man, it's crazy to see how old he is. <laughs> back in the day, he was a really good career mode pickup at 32. He's a little bit past it. So, Daniel Weiss has now joined the club, and we're definitely going to need him because we are, we've are we got a huge hole in that right-back position with Kieran Trippier leaving to join Newcastle. All right, let's try and make this Griezmann deal permanent as well. Obviously, with a good-looking haircut, <laughs> good face scan, and then, of course, we've got the Atleti background now. Oh, I love it when Pfeiffer puts in those backgrounds that we can have. So we're going to have that in career modes uh, going forward. Herrera has been moved on, so we might try and do the same. Here is Daniel Weiss. Uh, Kuna. Here are the couple of the other players brought in from a previous regime. We've also got Vitolo as well. But this squad depth is on point. All right, let's try and make this Griezmann deal permanent. So he's only worth 40 mil. Dude, crazy. What's going on at Barcelona? So we can settle the um, the deal and actually fully pay it out for 44 million euros, which I'm going to try and do. All right, so we're about to get the first La Liga season underway. I'm going to be playing at least every single team once. 
look, if a team's in the bottom 15, below, I might simulate, but I'm going to be playing a lot of these matches to come. Also, Champions League-wise, we've got a pretty tough group. First match of the season, we're going to be playing against Celta Vigo away. Hopefully, we can pick up a decent victory away. But Manchester United have splashed 80 million pounds on Koulibaly and Skankov, which is kind of huge. And unfortunately, Yannick Carrasco has an injury. All right, let's get things underway. Away at Celta Vigo. A really cool and interesting club. I'd imagine they've got Io Aspas leading the line. In match day one in La Liga, Atleti face Celta Vigo. Let's go. Kick off underway. Celta Vigo start things off with Dennis Suarez. Luis Suarez, 19 minutes in, looking good. At the edge of the box, goes for goal himself. Cool, calm and collected. 20 minutes in. Atleti have a golden opportunity to stamp their authority on this match, and they do, thanks to that man there. Luis Suarez scores the first goal of the FIFA 22 Atletico Madrid daily career mode. Let's play. Oh, you beauty. Look at that man. 34 years of age. Still is an absolutely elite a world-class finisher. If we can just give him golden opportunities, he's going to bag so many goals this season, I can already tell. No, this match has sort of faded out a bit. One goal to nil. We beat Celta Vigo, thanks to Louis. All right, so looks like everything's above board. Griezmann will be officially another Atletico player. All right, match against Lecce here. We managed to beat them 2-1, thanks to a Griezmann and Suarez goal. Unfortunately, Yannick Carrasco, look at this. This could be a season-defining injury. A broken tailbone, you're joking. All right, let's get stuck into VRL against Unai Emery's side. And Griezmann is now the top deal. But look at United there, absolutely splashing the cash. But Carrasco, oh my God, he's out. Luis Suarez, let's go. Let's get things underway. Stupionea, Villarreal, Coquelin, oh. Second half, incredibly tight this match. Lamar, oh, somehow blasts that wide of the left post. The left foot wonder, French international. Oh, that is just, they might have even got a glove to that. A fingertip maybe, just offline. Now then it's passing around the back. Well, unfortunately, we pick up a draw nil-nil against Villarreal at home. Okay, so the August calendar month is now complete. Two wins, one draw. I'll take that. All right, so Griezmann is the top deal so far. Four, yeah, 40 million euros for Koulibaly. Then they sign Viktor Tsiankov. I do quite <laughs> love that. He was amazing in my Everton career mode. Uh, we actually ended up selling him to United, funnily enough. Alexander Izak has joined City. Grimaldo to Juventus. Gintner to Bayern. Dominic Calvert-Lewin to Arsenal. Scott McTominay, McSaucy, has gone to Spurs. Neves to Inter. That's a really astute sign. Simon has let Bill Bow to join United. In the sense of weakening Bill Bow in the league and against us, uh, Banter FC have signed Calvin Phillips, which is quite astute for them. Alrighty, about to get some Champions League underway. Essentially the group of death this season. Porto, Milan and Liverpool. All these teams should go through. We're going to kick things off with a home match at the Wanda Metropolitana against Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool. Hopefully Los Rojiblancos can pick up a dub. Firmino fires it into Mane. 30 minutes in, in the first half. Thiago Alcantara. Uh, get the shot blocked. Oh, and it's a great goal there by Klopp's Liverpool. Really couldn't stop them there. Oh, that's a, a really great goal to concede, to be fair to Oblak. Good ball in, couldn't find Thiago. Fabino lashes the side netting. Look at this. Nice little touch. Oh. I think that's Jose Jimenez at full stretch. Oblak came flying in, but just couldn't get a glove to it. Liverpool lead, 1-0 at the Wanda. Second half, Liverpool with another opportunity here. Looking dangerous, Vardy! 
Never fear, Jamie Vardy is here. He's having a party. Wow. What a huge and important reinforcing signing for Liverpool. They've let go the Foxes of Jamie Vardy, and now he is playing for Liverpool. Loves being down in Spain. It's party time. It's all Skittles, Red Bull and Vodka. <laughs> Down at the Wanda as Liverpool lead two goals to nil, unfortunately for us. Oh, not good to start off our Champions League campaign, but you never know. Liverpool could end up winning it this year in real life, both in this career series. All right, back in the league, we're facing Bill Bow. Hopefully we can have a better result. After four games played, we sit on 10 points. Uh, Barca are two points ahead of us, Sevilla in third. And our arch rivals, Real Madrid, sit in fourth with Granada and Deportivo Alves creeping into that top six bracket, which is pretty interesting for them. I'm curious to see um, how they do. Same with Bilbao without Simon joining Manchester United. They brought in another Spanish goalkeeper. Maybe they're going to be quite weak at the back there. I wonder if they'll leak a lot of goals this season. Match day five. At the Wanda, we need a good win under that Champions League defeat. Suarez, with the kickoff, gets us underway. Bilbao, Anaki Williams, a phenomenal career mode player. This dude always scores against me. It's actually kind of insane. Anaki Williams, Basque through and through, makes it one goal to nil. Ah. Uh, we started off this season so well, converting goals left, right, and center. And now we've sort of hit this Champions League uh, congestion. Maybe we're in a bit of an, a seasonal dip already. Anaki Williams with a really top-notch finesse. Bill Bow lead, one goal to nil. Anaki scores his second goal in five matches. Really good career mode player. If you need a winger or a striker, a decent forward, pick up an Aki, man. Ah. Unless we can do something here. Right. Suarez. What are you doing? Wasting time? Okay. I think I need to change up the team um, just due to those two losses. So I think I might swing things to a 4-3-3. Yeah. I think that's what I want to try and do. Griezmann, Suarez, Lamar. All right. Let's get stuck into AC Milan away. We currently sit rock bottom of the group due to that loss to Liverpool. We desperately need a win in the Champions League, but it's against Zlatan's side. At San Siro, Ibra is going to get things kicked off. Graysman. Oh, nice to be able to skill and trickery. Oh, an excellent back heel. Suarez with the Elastico, woo! Sends it past Mike Magna, and we're 1-0 up away in Milan. The fashion capital of the world, Suarez, strips them down. <laughs> I guess. And uh, gives us the league. Oh, that's sensational. Griezmann really made that goal. A really exceptional pass by Lorente to see the vision. And Suarez with a cheeky little elastico just to top it off. Smashes it into the bottom right. Mike Magnan, eat your heart out. Atletico lead. One goal to nil. DePaul. Uh, didn't he play for Udinese at one point? Yeah, back in Italy. Fine, Suarez. He picks up a brace. Good. He's been a little bit quiet, Luis Suarez, since the start of the season. But, yeah, he's such an insane career, my player. He's actually amazing in football manager as well. <laughs> like... Really, if you can get Luis Suarez in your team, this guy is going to absolutely bury everything if he gets into that final third. Look at that. Dude, went with the P-roller. Dri he drove that so low and hard into the bottom left. An exceptional striker. And it seems like this new 4-3-3 formation is working wonders for Atletico Madrid. Griezmann, Lorente, oh, look at the confidence of the boys. Nice little bit of skill. Has to find the pass well, he does. He finds Griezmann, who finds Suarez, who, it falls to DePaul. Didn't get the shot away. The Athletic, um, the AC Milan defenders were tracking the Atleti boys so, so well there. And 
it's our biggest win of the career mode. Definitely deserved it. DePaul makes it three goals to nil. Yeah, Griezmann tried to fly in Suarez. They were trying to close down a potential hat-trick hero, and it slipped to DePaul in the midfield. The former Italian League player with Lamar getting around him as well. Good stuff, fellas. 3-0 up. Let's bring on Kondogbia as well, just to shore up our defensive solidity in the midfield. Give us some more control in the midfield. Koke looking for a fourth. Flies the football to Seoul. Haven't seen too much of him this season. Who finds Correra? A nice little consolation goal there by the substitutes. Correra and, of course, Seoul linking up well there. The former Chelsea man sends him on through. Four goals to nil. Wow, I feel bad for AC Milan. The sleeping giant of a football club. Obviously, they've got crazy Champions League and European pedigree, and they have been absolutely embarrassed on the European stage to an up-and-coming, a red-hot and fiery Atletico side. 4-0. Man. That just shows you don't be afraid to change up formations. Have a couple that you like. 4-5-1, 4-2, 4-3-2-1, 4-3-3. You never know. You don't know what can happen. All right. We're absolutely gassed from that 4-0 victory in Europe. We now face Barcelona, which is a huge, huge rivalry, of course, uh, in Spain. Nearly up there with the, well, the Madrid derby, to be honest. We're going to be hosting them at the Wanda. Aubameyang finds Ensu Fati. Look at the skill he's got it to pay the bills. Finds Frankie De Jong who spins Jose Jimenez. And that's a great goal. I really can't say too much about that. That is brilliant there. From the Dutchman, Frankie De Jong makes it one goal to nil just before the 27th minute. They've got a really a couple of strong pieces, Barcelona. Particularly in FIFA. Like, Aubameyang is <laughs> goaded. And, oh my god. you got to give it to Frankie De Jong there. Absolutely spin. Fun in circles. Jose Jimenez and Barcelona lead. One goal to nil at the Wonder. No! We're on such good form. And now we've let this slip. Frankie scores his second goal in eight matches. 27 minutes in at the Wonder Metropolitana. Second half. We need to close this down and really respond. Frankie finds a Bamiyang to Usman Dembele. 2-0. Barcelona. Unless Atletico can do something, they are going to firmly claim a place at the top of the league. They're playing some fantastic football, Barca, both in real life and in FIFA. And Aubameyang unselfishly finds Dembele in a better position, knows he's got a left foot hook. Oh, and he's really curled that, curled that around. Unfortunately, Oblak concedes two in this match against Barca. Come on, we need a goal or two. We need to save some face in this one. Up the tempo, boys. Rev up the engines. Oh, God. They're looking for a third. Aubameyang! Oh, my God. That's just a joke, isn't it? Left, right, finally puts it in the back of the net. 3-0, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, who's played really quite well in this match. Puts his name on the score sheet. And we've been absolutely embarrassed here. Off the post, to be fair. Then gets the left foot. Aubameyang, crazy pace. Crazy agility. And that just shows it there. Never gives up. Never relents. Now at Barcelona, he's found a new home. Yeah. It makes you think, eh? Hey, we're Arsenal. The... Um I don't know. His major problems, not necessarily him. Long lay. PK. Oh, here we go. Lamar. There we go. Whew. We're pressing there. But Lamar is going to celebrate like an absolute madman. I know it's a goal, but like, we're 3 1 down. <laughs> Great interception, though. Really only opportunity of this match. 
Lamar puts his name on the score sheet and, and somehow snuffs it out. Barcelona trying to play it out from the back. That's what you get sometimes from playing that pass out the back football. And, oh, I guess it's his first goal. So good on him. First goal in eight games. Lamar, well-deserved, mate. 3-1. At least we got a goal, but... Yeah. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. Honestly done a bit better there. As we might have a late opportunity here. No. Morassic. Right. Porto away. We're currently sitting in second. AC have two losses. Oh, my God. But Porto sit in third. So, we've actually been quite lucky there. Um, with AC Milan losing again. So, we need to win this one at Porto. Is this, just, is this such a super tough group? Like, seriously. I've seen Porto, Atleti, and AC qualify in this one. All right, away in Portugal. Let's go, baby. Suarez finds Lorente. Oh, haven't seen much of him. But he's picked up a really nice goal there. Is well adapted and suited to be a forward, to be honest. As Lorente starts off the scoring away in Portugal. A bit of a fortress for... German, French, and Spa and um, English sides. Obviously, on the Iberian Peninsula. Not too far away. Only a quick short flight for us. We've stepped up against the Portuguese. Marcos Lorente sends the Spaniards in front. Which we desperately need to win. Marcos Lorente scores 1-3 in three in the Champions League. Good stuff, Marco. You beauty. Second half now. Lamar finds Suarez. Oh, finds Lorente again. Back to Luis Suarez, who finds Coque. We get the goal. Oh, my God. you got to give it to Porto there. They were really man-marking, phasing out my defenders. And it's left Coque, Captain El Capitan, from midfield to get the goal. 2-0. We lead away in Porto. I don't know what the hell that was. A bit of a visual glitch there. Cameraman bugging out. Someone ran in front of it. Look at that. Oh, Could have gone aerially. Didn't want to risk the defender deflection. But he's managed to sneak this one through. I love those little P-roller shots. Like, low driven shots. They look so good on the replays. As Atletico lead. Two goals to nil. Coque. Suarez, Atleti looking for a third, and we've got it. Luis Suarez finally puts his name on the score sheet. It's a brilliant goal there by the Uruguayan international. 3-0. We're buffing up our goal difference big time because depending on the results, <laughs> you never know, it might actually go to that. Because we want to try and make knockout football. We want to try and... Yeah, we want to give us a chance to finish top of the group because really that can set you up for a huge Champions League campaign. Finishing top, you get a weaker seed in the knockout round um, compared to finishing in second. Mm, Porto might get one here, and they do. Ah, they just had a little bit of flowing momentum there as they work their way into the box. They make it 3 1. Good goal for Porto. Interesting to see how they adapt and do this season without Luis Diaz, of course. But I'm sure in the next couple of years, there'll be a huge man <laughs> worth 50 million pounds out of Porto. The amount of money they make as a selling club is so awesome. Like, you just, you just think of, like, Colombian wingers. Diaz. <laughs> James Rodriguez. He's sort of fallen off a bit, but you never know. Porto always have the next... Best thing coming out of South America. Falcao. And that's it. 3-1. Really decent performance. Unfortunately, because of that brain fart, we did concede a goal, but so be it. Alrighty. Let's get stuck into this match against Sociedad. After nine games played, we sit in 19th and 6th. So, it could be a little bit better, if I'm being honest. Sociedad, about to get us underway. We really need to pick up our La Liga form if we can, as the ball gets floated in. Thanks to Thomas Lamar, Lorente has popped up with a really nice goal there. A little bit of an unorthodox one. I think that must be our first header, yeah, of the career mode series. 
And it's thanks to that man there in a nice sunny Saturday in Spain. Lamar floats it into the box and Lorente rises to the occasion with a top-notch header in to the top right. Look at that. Boo! Inch perfect. Boom. Right off the chromium. <laughs> Great goal there by Marcus. Come on. Like I said, we need to pick up our La Liga form. We've been doing really quite well in the Champions League. But we're sort of losing the pack um, in La Liga. We, we definitely want to try and claim top four. I'd love to sit above Barca or Madrid. Moreno. Rafinha. Oyezabal. Porto. Ah. Sociedad have made it 1-1. Late in the second half. Come on. We really need to show that we've got the mustard. Because, to be fair, Sociedad... Maybe I should do them at some point. They've got a lot of good-looking players. Look at that. Silva, Porto, Oya Zabal. There's always a top-notch Karimo player. Another player. If you want someone for a top five side in Europe's top five leagues, maybe even a top three, to be honest, pick up Oya Zabal. He's quite realistic and sensible. There's a lot of players, a lot of teams will want a right wing left footed Spanish players uh, can we do something nah looks oh hang on hang on up the red tape oh good block <laughs> I nearly got the shot away uh, but it's going to be a 1-1 draw unfortunately against Sociedad I want to have a look at the league table right uh, okay 11 games 23 points not too shabby I guess we're ahead of Madrid behind Barca Okay, so, um, let's get stuck into Batiste. We're going to be hosting him at the Wanda. Aubameyang and Dembele are on an absolute goal fest at the top. Atleti trying to work some magic here. DePaul firing passes, just trying to create some space against Batiste. Suarez! Goes with the left, goes with the right, fake, and finally gets the goal against Batis, playing in the green and gold. Yeah, beauty. <laughs> I love that as an Australian. It's actually not too bad of a kit. Against Batis, who have spent a little bit of cash recently, bringing in Bellerin and a, a fair few others as well. Nice left feint. Creates the space. That is just... Supreme intelligence there from Luis Suarez. Fakes with the left, opens up the space, because he know he's going to sell the dummy, because he's both, like, two-footed. You never know where he's going to strike from. After 12 games, Luis Suarez has picked up with six goals at 34. Crikey. William Jose. Carvajal. Never fear, William Carvajal is here. Man, that guy was touted with so many big moves when he was in Portugal. Wasn't he linked to United at one point? I just think he's too injury prone. Never made that big move, but always, uh, well, in career mode, he's decent because you, you <laughs> if you um, really get, you probably rarely get injuries with him compared to real life. They've got a couple of, like, weirdly good players. Batis, Willian, and of course, Fekir. 1-1 one, one apiece. Okay, we've got a corner kick here. Literally last opportunity, and he's fluffed it up. It's going to be another draw for Atleti. Come on, fellas. All right, let's try and end this one with a win. We've dropped down to fifth with that draw now, 24 points. Ultra competitive always points wise in FIFA's realism mod. Against Valencia, let's go. Guides. Away. Oh, second time facing them this season. Oblak has to make a pretty clutch save in the 20th. Oh my god. I was going to say it's a scissor kick. It's actually more of a bicycle kick in the end. And you're joking. You're taking the piss. It is going to be another nil-nil draw. Another draw. God damn it, man.
Well, unfortunately, on that note, it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed episode one of this FIFA 22 Atletico Madrid career mode Let's Play. Stay tuned for episode two coming out the exact same time tomorrow. Hopefully, we can pick up our La Liga form. We're not losing, but we're just picking up draws, which some people consider to be essentially losses for the top three sides in Spain just because of the wealth and gap in quality, so we really need to, s to stop that out. But the main objective of this career series is to try and win the Champions League as in as few seasons as possible, particularly with Atleti, because they've won it over previous years, but their Champions League form and their European form, particularly in the Champions League, has uh, let them down after losing two finals uh, in recent memory, of course. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this first episode. I've had an absolute blast. Hope you sort of enjoy the editing style of this. Plenty of goals, plenty of action-packed, and we'll do that for episode two the same way, coming out tomorrow. Also, stay tuned for more future Let's Plays to come out. We've wrapped up the AC Milan career mode series. Now we've, we're going to do Atleti. Uh, let me know in the comments what you would like me to replace this with in the future. I'm thinking potentially maybe a Dutch Revolution Eric Ten Hag career series on uh, playing as United, but obviously with Eric Ten Hag signing Ajax and Slash... Uh, Dutch players, or maybe we can go and play as Inter Milan as well. Um, that might be quite fun. Also, a nice little sprinkling here and there of some rebuild content. We've obviously uh, gone and done Atalanta and Sevilla already, so I do want to try and do those as well. Do those uh, one season rebuilds in, in one video. But anyway, guys, take care. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. I've got to play the outro, and I'll see you at the exact same time tomorrow for episode two. Unfortunately, it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Check out my social media links in the description below if you want to stay connected with me. I also want to say thank you to this month's patrons and channel members, Victor K, Sebastian C, Jordan K, Caesar L, Brian S, Tao, Lion B, Kyle P, Tom C, and White P. My name has been Simsy. Much love from Australia. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.